Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, John Piper, for another edition of Falcon Football Weekly, brought to you by the Lake Dallas Quarterback Club. You can find us on iTunes, on your Apple iOS device, your iPhone, Apple iPad, on Spreaker Radio. Just go to Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R.com, and search Falcon Football Weekly to find us, and also on SoundCloud. Make sure you share the podcast out to the Lake Dallas community and the fan base all across the country. Lake Dallas Cheer would like to welcome you to Falcon Football Weekly. Damn snapping. Here we go. Shine through. Ready, ready, set. Welcome to episode 12 of Falcon Football Weekly. I'm John Piper, and each and every week, uh, joined by head coach Michael Young. Good morning, coach. Good morning. Well, here it is. Uh, Episode 12 means week 12, but week one of Texas high school playoff football. You got to be a little giddy walking around the field house this morning. Yeah, we uh, we had meetings and film this morning, and I, I I told the kid I'm ready to play today. I'd like to drive over there right now and play. So, but uh, yeah, it's hard to sleep at night, and I think our kids are excited, and uh, we're ready to go. It's a great time of year. Well, coach, we normally like to recap uh, the previous week's game, but with it being playoff week, we're not going to spend a lot of time uh, on the Lebanon Trail game. Uh, hey, congratulations. Uh, uh, Way to finish off the season with the two wins, uh, Denton Braswell and then Lebanon Trail. You win that one. Uh, I, I wouldn't use the word coasting, but uh, I guess I will. I use the word coasting, 45 to 10. You got a lot of uh, extra players in the game. Uh, I know uh, a lot of a lot of players that don't normally see the field got to get in there and get some work in. That uh, really helped you prepare for this upcoming week. Yeah, it's always good to get those kids in. That's one of the, you know, tough things about this business we have kids that you know come and work hard and do everything they're supposed to do but not everybody gets to play that's just the uh, real life of Texas high school football but uh, it's nice when they get a chance to get in there and, and play and get better and uh, it was, it's, it's fun to watch them. And in, in that long off season, uh, like you mentioned the kids uh, whether they're a varsity starter uh, you know JV player uh, kid on the second or third team, uh, come playoff time, uh, they all get to participate. And uh, it's a special time of year uh, for the Lake Dallas community. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Uh, this marks uh, 12 out of 14 seasons that uh, you've taken the Falcons to the playoffs. Uh, not easy to do. No, it's not easy to do. We're usually in really good districts with good teams. There's you look at our district this year, Denison, and I think it's a really good football team, and they're not going to make the playoffs. So it, it's it's not easy to do. You never want to take it for granted. And uh, we have a great opportunity now to play another game, and that's what I told the kids this morning. It's about opportunity, and we have a great one in front of us, so take advantage of it. And hey, just talk a little bit about last week because uh, you want to keep the rust, uh, rust off everybody. You got Brandon Engel back in the game after uh, – he didn't play the Denton Braswell game. Uh, only caught four passes, but 160 yards. Uh, Depper Schmidt, very efficient, nine of 14, 184 yards. Uh, you know, a lot of good things happening. Uh, obviously, your defense held uh, Lebanon Trail to only 10 points. We've talked each and every week uh, how big your defense has been coming up, and you're going to need them uh, to play special on the road at Corsicana on Friday night. Yeah, they – Corsicana, if you look at the numbers, is very similar to us in yards per game, points per game. Uh, one of the tops in the area like we are. Very, I mean, very, very close. But they kind of do it a, a different way. They're they're more of a run than pass. Our, what our passing yards are is kind of what their run yards are. So they're really good at what they do. It's going to be – that's going to be the real challenge for our defense is shutting down their run. And uh, they're going to have a big challenge in front of them. But I know they're looking forward to it. I heard you talking early in the week, uh, one of their key guys, the, the quarterback, the coach's son, uh, big kid, uh, likes to run the ball a lot, just like uh, Depp, uh, but he's effective through the air as well. Um, any special defensive schemes uh, that you're putting in this week that uh, maybe you haven't uh, showed your cards earlier in the season? You no, know, I think that's the uh, kind of the benefit of having 
played Lebanon Trail the last game, nothing against them, but we were able to work on some stuff that week too to to, to help us prepare for the playoffs. And I think we've got a good plan offense and defense, but you definitely have to be aware of him. When a quarterback is, runs as well as him, it, it kind of changes the, a lot of things you have to do defensively to, uh, you know, to, to keep him under wraps. So we've got some things, and we're excited about getting the chance to, to, to show him Friday night. Now, one reason we uh, like to do this podcast is so the the Falcon football community can pop it in their uh, Apple CarPlay uh, on the way to the game or Thursday night. Uh, uh, the players uh, tune in, uh, get a little fired up. Uh, any special message that you want to share on the podcast today for the Falcon community, uh, maybe directed right at the players, uh, coaching staff? Well, I think uh... – you know, this morning, we already kind of got fired up this morning. We're still, you know, 36 hours away from game time or whatever. But I know I was ready to play today. I think the kids are too. But uh, I think the real message, you know, that is we had a couple disappointing losses this year in district. That, But, you know, like, like I told the kids today, everything happens for a reason. And I think us beginning – us getting the fourth seed is really uh, a great opportunity. I'm nothing against Courses of Canada. They were the best team in their district. But it, it, I think it, it's a really good spot for us in our bracket. We have a chance to win some playoff games here. I know that you got to look at it one game at a time, but we've got a great opportunity. And, and if we go out and play really good football, we're going to have a good chance of winning this game. I think we're both very evenly matched teams. And I just told, like I told the kids today, this is about a, a great opportunity we have in front of us. we got to take advantage of it. Well, the good news, Coach, every team in the uh, Texas high school playoff uh, bracket start – zero and zero so we put uh, the regular season behind us uh, you, you got into the tournament and uh, you head down to Corsicana Friday night uh, well actually you'll leave uh, Lake Dallas uh, for the fan base uh, kind of take us through uh, the day of a game especially a playoff game when you have to travel pretty good distance down to Corsicana uh, what time will you uh, load up the buses and, and head south well, we're going to have a, a meal before we go at about 2.30, and then we're going to load up in our buses. We're going to leave at 3.30. That's a chance if fans want to be around. I know they're going to have some people line the streets here uh, over here by the school for us to leave, but we'll leave about 3.30. Uh, that, that's the thing about going to a place like Corsicana. It can be anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours travel time. So uh, we'll get ourselves over there, you know, probably 5.30, maybe a little before, and uh, we're going to have a 7:30 kickoff uh, a little bit later. They they usually always they play all their games at 7:30. So we've we decided to do that as well. I think it's a little easier for our fans. But and then uh, we have about two hours over there uh, to get ready and taped and warm up and pregame and meetings. So that's kind of when our day will start. Well, the good news is uh, here in North Texas uh, we battled some bitter cold uh, on Monday, uh, right at freezing temperatures. Forecast calls for 69 and sunny on Friday. Obviously, the, the temps will drop once the sun sets, but it's going to be just a gorgeous, uh, almost absolutely perfect night for uh, Texas high school football when you uh, kick off. Uh, that's got to be uh, encouraging. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, this was a cold week. It, Tuesday's afternoon practice was – that's one of our longer ones, and it gets chilly when the sun gets back behind the stands at – around five o'clock, but it's going to be nice Friday, good weather for us. And I think it's a, it'll be a really great atmosphere over there. Uh, that's, you know, the, the way they did this now with somebody gets to play at home, the first and second seed, I think it's a smart move. It's, it, it helps everybody, you know, find a place to play this first round. And <clears throat> unfortunately we have to play on the road, but it will be a great map atmosphere over there. Now, coach, I want you to, to go ahead and, and just call out a couple of your senior leaders, uh, what you're going to uh, need from them, uh, both on the offensive side and the defensive side, because uh, they're going to be tuning into this one. Well, I think our defensive front is a big key. You know, Brock and Bush and DL and T Ray and David Blair, uh, Finley, Minor. Uh, we have a lot of seniors there, and it's going to be really important how they play. This is a team that's going to try to run the ball, and and they're, it's going to start with them getting getting stops and getting off the field. So. They got a big task in front of them, and I think offensively that you know a key is going to be you know it's going to be tough at the beginning of this on the road. We got to grind out the yards at the beginning of the game and uh, find a way to keep them on the field. And I think as the game goes on, if we're able to do that, we're going to have some success scoring. So 
going to be about our offensive line and protecting the quarterback and being able to run the ball. So it's that's what kind of playoff football is about, especially when you play a team that, that, that plays like Corsicana. It's going to be won and lost up front on both sides of the ball. And, Coach, I know everybody's a little banged up this time of year. Uh, I had a chance to hear Jason Witten speak on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, you know, you talk about a warrior. I think uh, every kid, uh, even Coach, uh, would look up to Jason Witten on – how he battled, you know, played, only missed one game with a broken jaw, uh, those types of things. And uh, it was really inspiring to me to hear him talk and really got me fired up about uh, everything going on uh, with our local high school football scene. And I know uh, a lot of your kids look up to a guy like Jason Witten. And uh, anything else special that you want to share with the uh, Falcon football community? Well, I mean, you bring up, Injuries, you know, by, I told the kids, uh, I think Monday or Tuesday after practice, you know, a lot of teams that win this time of year, everybody's beat up and banged up. Everybody's sore. Everybody's got some aches and pains. If they've been playing, you're going to have it. I think a lot of the teams that advance in the playoffs are the teams are the people that on this, on those teams that are able to overcome that stuff. They're able to, they want to keep playing. I think, I think subconsciously there are some, some teams and some, some players that are beat up and tired and it's, it's not as important to them. So that's that's going to be one of the keys. you got to fight through it. you got to be able to come to practice. You have to be able to play through it, the aches and the pains. It's a great learning experience it, uh, for these kids. It toughens them up. I think it's one of the best things about football, but it's a it's a big reason why you win or lose in the playoffs. Yeah, overcoming uh, some of those uh, obstacles and the perseverance that it takes uh, at the highest level, uh, you know, here in Texas, uh, you, you play on a great stage. Um, you mentioned you've had a, a little trouble sleeping the, the last night or two. Uh, any special mindset uh, for the players? I know as a 17, 18-year-old kid, uh, I'm sure that they they got the wheels turning uh, in their head as well. Anything special you tell them this week as they prepare for the playoffs to kind of settle them, their nerves and uh, kind of keep it business as usual? Well, I think, that, you know, they all have a lot going on. They have uh... – they have a lot of other stuff in their life besides football, you know, girlfriends and school and work and things at home. And uh, I think the, the key, though, is to be to make sure, sure they're mentally and physically prepared. And I know physically we kind of handle that, but the mental part of it is on them. And that's watching film. I think that you ease a lot of your anxiety when you know what you're supposed to do and you're and you're really confident and uh, you're not nervous about making a mistake. So that's something that they can kind of keep uh, tabs of themselves by film study and just paying attention in meetings. And, and I think that part of it will make it a lot easier for them. Well, you've been doing this for a long time, and we're confident everybody's going to be ready. We do want to thank uh, the Lake Dallas Quarterback Club uh, presenting this podcast each and every week throughout the season. And uh, we want everybody out there uh, 3.30 to see the team off and uh, make the trip down to Corsicana to root on the Lake Dallas Falcons uh, versus Corsicana on Friday night, 730. Good luck, Coach. All right, appreciate it. Thank you.